Hello, I'm David Chaston with 90 at 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz. This week at Everything You Need to Know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock, with news markets seem to be relieved to find some small positives. Wall Street is up strongly today, up 1.4% so far, building on rises in Europe overnight of about a similar amount. That followed weak outcomes in Asian markets, however. They weren't that negative, they just weren't very positive and didn't indicate what was coming in Europe and the US. The US merchandise trade balance widened marginally in July from the same month a year ago with small rises in imports and small falls in exports. Leading the falls in exports were farm goods, leading the rises in imports were consumer goods. An American pending home sales for July fell quite sharply from June and are now in fact lower than for July 2018. There was an update to the US second quarter 2019 GDP data out overnight and that softened the annualised growth rate to 2%, marginally lower than the 2.1% originally reported. But this release revealed the strongest consumer spending in more than four years as the labour market retains its firmness. This was data that helped Wall Street ease fears of an immediate downturn. And China has now signalled that they may return to trade talks. They haven't really changed their position, but they did finally say something without mentioning tariff retaliation. All eyes will now be on the key August data coming out of China next week to gauge the impact of the recent trade and economic slowdowns. There were few surprises in the EU's survey of business sentiment out overnight. It is still low and in a declining trend. But there was one surprise. The French economy has grown faster than expected in the second quarter of 2019, up at an annual rate of 1.4%, and that's actually better than the export-dependent Germans. Locally, look out later today for some important data that we'll be covering on building consents and for consumer confidence. The US Treasury 10-year yield is up four basis points today to 1.51%. US oil prices are continuing to recover, up another dollar again, and now just under 56.50 a barrel. The Brent benchmark is also up to $61 a barrel. But the Kiwi dollar is softer again, now down to 63.1 US cents. On the cross rates, we've slipped to just under 93.8 Aussie cents, and against the euro, we're also softer at 57.1 euro cents. That pushes the trade weight index down to 68.6 and a new four year low. I'm David Chaston. That was 90 at 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz.